So you got orders to go to Okinawa. Yeah. And how did you get over there? We we went uh, from uh, Water Canal. We went up to the uh, Ulithi Lagoon. Tell us about the morning before you uh, went into shore. The did morning you feed before. Were you nervous? <clears throat> uh, yes and yes and no. I I I don't I don't remember really being. Afraid. I just wanted to get it over with. I just, I, I, this is something I think we all felt, you know, let's just get it over with. The waiting, the training and all that just builds you up to where you just want to get it over with. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was Easter Sunday, April the 1st, 1945. And uh, uh, we, we went in and it was something uh, that was very surprising. I think uh, we might have been maybe, maybe in the third, fourth, or fifth wave, but everything was going. Very few. Uh, uh, very little resistance. Very little resistance. Yeah. We did have some uh, artillery shells or whatever falling in the water. But it wasn't like the other invasions that they had had at Iwo Jima and so forth. So, so we went in, and by the first that afternoon, uh, I had we had already taken an airfield, and we were just I was amazed. It was just nothing like what I expected. I I saw a lot of things. I I saw the these uh, Baca bombs that they had at the airport, and and. And what really was amazing to me, because I was raised in East LA, and we have hills around us in the neighborhood, and it reminded me of that. And because uh, I, I, I grew up with Japanese kids in the in the neighborhood, and the outlying community of East LA, it reminded me of the farms, mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful little farms that they had there in Okinawa, in the northern part of the island, and and everything, and I could see. And the hillsides, which was to be our something that in weeks ahead we were really going to have to fight for, uh, they were so peaceful. I mean, and our ships were firing, our planes were flying. There was uh, the Japanese planes were coming in, uh, kamikazes, and it was just a lot of a lot of turmoil. Something that was an air, it was a show, you know, of, and. So we went. We we were designated. We were designated to take the northern part of the island, and that's what we did. We uh, uh, we moved, and we moved pretty fast. We would stop certain places, sent out patrols, went out on patrols, and, mm -hmm. and very little resistance until we got to a peninsula. I forget the name of it, Motunabu or something like that. And, uh, but we cleared the island, that part of the island, in about two weeks, three What were you told of the Japanese soldier? It, that we, 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 there was, on the isle, uh, on the peninsula, there was a lot of resistance, but uh, not anything that we didn't expect or unusual. We, we didn't have that many casualties. We had a lot of casualties, but not to the extent that we expected. Yeah, but I mean, you, of the Japanese soldiers, you were told that these guys are, they're tough? Oh, that, that, well, oh, that is, without saying, we were taught that back in Guadalcanal we okay. from the very beginning. And they were, they were very, very, very tough soldiers. As a matter of fact, we caught one, we, we brought back a prisoner, it was something that, we're very, we brought very few prisoners. Yeah. Very few. We brought one that was knocked out and we were able to uh, tie his hands and, and walk him back. And all the time that he was going back with us, he wanted, he wanted a knife to yeah. kill himself. He didn't, he didn't want to go back. But um, the experience, I think they had, I was, I had been uh, expecting something like this. It wasn't that, that hard for me. What I'm getting at is that when we started to come back, they told us, you're going south. You're going back, uh, uh, you, you uh, secured the northern part of the island. It was in an early morning of uh, April the 12th. It was cold and 
and uh, somebody came over and told me that President Roosevelt, the commander in chief, died. And, and to me, it was somewhat very uh, personal because I remember as a little kid seeing him get elected president, and he served to the time that I was a young man in the service. Yeah. And it, it, was, uh, it was the biggest part of my life. Sure. He, he had been. So it was. Uh, and as he told, as they told us that, and got prepared to go back, I remember it so well because it was hillside, little hills, and I hear in little valleys, and I hear, and I hear this chuck 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 chuck, and I look up, and here comes this kamikaze plane going around the valleys. I could see the pilot. I I, I think that I I, I was so. Flabbergasted to see them so close as I see this, and they were going down to the. You can see it. I remember they were going down to the to the port. There was hundreds of ships, uh -huh. and it was a daily thing. They would come over those uh, suicide bombers or planes, and we we got we got together, and they moved us south. 